Average per day, we do around uh, 150 to 200. For the year, we make, for example, about 60,000 pizza for the year. So you can make a calculation, uh, 21 years, uh, you know, uh, for the 20 pizza. <laughs> Uh, my name is Marcello. Um, I always had a passion for food uh, since uh, at the age of uh, seven years old. Yeah, I used to make uh, uh, lunch and dinner for uh, my mother and sister. Then uh, in uh, 1983, I immigrated to, uh, to Vancouver. And then after a few years, uh, I opened another restaurant uh, called uh, uh, Lombardo. I operate uh, uh, Lombardo for uh, 12 years and the, 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 the food basically was the same food that we were preparing in, uh, in Italy. Then I sold the business and uh, in 1999 I opened uh, uh, Marcello. Uh, Marcello right now is, uh, is been here for the 21 years and the same thing is that we basically it's the same style of food a little bit more elabor elaborated. You know, it's it's uh, more dishes, uh, more specialty. What we care about uh, is, is the recipe, uh, the good ingredients, and uh, the presentation. So this is what I do. I do the, the Roma style of pizza. The Roma style is more like a free, a free crust and crispy. And uh, it's kind of a bit, uh, it's not soggy, but it's, got an, it's a nice, nice topping that stays on top, uh, it doesn't slide, uh, you, know, you can taste better as well. The, yeah, the, the Prima by Night Pizza it's, uh, it's, a, it's like a Sicilian style uh, recipe. Yeah, because in Sicily we, we eat uh, spicy pizza. <laughs> we do, yeah. Okay, this is my kitchen manager, Carlo Chetti. Uh, he's Italian from uh, Milano. Uh, he has uh, several years of experience in making Italian cuisine. After this, he will show to you how to make the Prima by Night uh, Pizza. Go ahead for the pizza. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So we need to get a pizza dough because without a pizza dough we cannot make it, right? So the main ingredient for the pizza, Palermo by night, it's, we have Italian salami Genoa, the pizza sauce. The secret ingredient is the spicy hot sauce, sriracha. Then we have a regular mozzarella the people can substitute with a fresh mozzarella if they want it. And then we have a baking cheese. So what we do, we need to stretch our pizza out. Pizza needs to be outside. It needs to be at room temperature to make sure that we can stretch it easily, 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 and faster. Because sometimes when you make pizza, it has to be, everybody has to be fast and make sure always there is flour on the bottom. Then we stretch it. There is a many way to stretch a pizza. I like it this way because that's how I learn. Marcello tried to, tried to teach me different way, but I can't. When you stretch around, we always need to make sure that the oven, before we insert the pizza, we need to make sure that the oven has fire. Not, if we need to add fire, we need to add it before we cook in a pizza, not, not during the same time. Okay. Because if it's not, the pizza is going to burn. It's not going to cook. And the most important is always the bottom. The stone, the stone has to be hot. Yes, the Wilburn and Avenue is a very unique uh, uh, way to, to bake the pizza uh, because uh, what it does, uh, uh, the wood that uh, gives the, the smoke flavor to, to the pizza when you bake it. In, in Italy, uh, the wood burning pizza oven is very popular, but everyone they try to make a little bit unique. Uh, sometimes they cover up with tiles, uh, sometimes they just uh, paint it. Uh, so they use uh, many different uh, look uh, to attract the, the people. Uh, this wasn't my idea. It's kind of a little bit a kind of funny story eh, because uh, uh, the person that made the oven, he, he understood that when I said to him that uh, I want the oven to look, uh, to look uh, like, like the sun, right? He understood there was a plaque. I said, no, I don't want a plaque. <laughs> I want the actual oven to look like a sun, right? 
and uh, he did a fantastic job. He worked for 30 days, seven days a week, 14 hours a day, because I was kind of anxious to, to open a business, right? So, so he did a great job, he did, yeah. So for this particular pizza, is 80% of the sriracha sauce, because Palermo by night is a spicy pizza, and 20% of the tomato sauce. We open it and we try, we need to make sure that in the middle is not wet. It has to be dry because all the ingredients from the outside, they go in inside, in the middle, okay? So after we have our salami, Italian Genoa salami. Yes. Then we have our mozzarella that we put around. We try to put it around as much as possible, like I said, not in the middle. And then we're going to add some bacon cheese. So where do you source the mozzarella? The mozzarella is a, it's a product from Canada. And it comes to us like two, three times a week. And we're using 50 kilos, 50, about 300 kilos of mozzarella a week. So it's quite a lot. After this one, we need to make sure we use the peel with the hole, because if there is extra flour on the bottom, we can get rid of it. And then we put it on the hardest spot of the oven. And there, we let her, we let her cook. We're not moving it. If we are moving the pizza and you turn, we turn it when it's the right time to turn it, we need to put it on the same spot. Because if you put it on another spot that is more hotter, it's going to burn. This pizza probably will take about two minutes, two and a half minutes to three minutes to cook. You see how is the, 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 the crust start rising? And of course, more pizza you put in, and cooler is getting in the oven. So you need to make sure, if the pizza is not only making it, it's how you're cooking it. It's the person that you need to know the oven, where the hottest and the coolest part is. If you have a bigger pizza, you cannot put it in the hottest, because it's gonna burn, it's not gonna cook. So you need to start it on the coolest side, and then move it, finish it to the hottest side. So for example, for this size of oven, for example, the, the optimal uh, uh, volume of pizza that you can bake is five, five or six, right? And that bakes very quickly, right? And then they can always uh, rotate it, another five, another five, another six, another six, okay? And the temperature always stays the same. But if you increase it, the temperature goes down. If you use less, you might burn the pizza. So you have to kind of balance uh, the, the, the production of the pizza with, with the temperature of the oven. There is not, for that one, it's not very experience. It's all about the uh, experience. Uh, so how do you know when it's like ready? The pizza? Yeah. When, you, when everything is crispy on the side and the, the, the cheese on top is all melt. That's when we know. And of course, the people say time, five minutes, three minutes. But every place, is, every pizza is different. Because, like I said, the temperature of the oven is the most important. And that's how it is. Then we finish it with a little drizzle of olive oil. Then this medium is sliced by six. Ecco qua. And this is the Palermo by night by Marcello. I've been doing the 21 years of business here in Vancouver. And in the last seven years, you know, uh, my wife, uh, she's been uh, uh, helping me, you know, running uh, the business. It makes it a little bit easier for me, you know, to say, so come over here, look, come here. This is my wife, uh, Lou Lombardo. Yeah. And uh, she's been helping for the last seven years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and she's awesome, uh, awesome worker.